to that amazing rescue that was caught on camera. Police and family searching for a little boy lost in the woods for four days, reuniting him with his relieved parents this morning. ABC's Amos McDonald has the latest and joins us. Good morning. Good morning to you, Robin. It is an almost unbelievable rescue, and it almost didn't happen. Rescue has spotted something in the distance from the choppers in the sky, so they turn back to investigate. Watch as this 11-year-old boy lost all alone in the woods for four days, shivering and hungry, finally spots a helicopter flying overhead. Just out of the corner of my eye, I just caught a little flash of something, but it was enough to, to make me get the guys to turn the aircraft around and go back and have a further look. Rescuers slide down this embankment to come to his aid. Our volunteers using chainsaws clear a path for a stretcher. At last, Luke Shambrook, who has autism, is wrapped in a foil blanket to restore his body temperature. When you think about the timeline and how many days he'd been away and how many nights, four nights, in this weather, it's been raining, it's been cold. And he's reunited with relieved parents. We've been overwhelmed by the response and we're very thankful that we live in a society that puts a lot of effort into finding uh, children who go missing. Luke's ordeal began three days ago when he wandered off from his parents' campsite at 9.30 in the morning. Three days into the search, rescuers finally spot his hat. As police choppers started scouring the area, they find Luke sitting here in dense forest with nothing to eat or drink. We were just absolutely over the moon. Obviously, we've uh, all of us uh, in the crew are parents ourselves, and uh, we can only imagine what the parents of uh, Luke have been going through. This could have ended so differently for Luke and for his family. It is nothing short of an Easter miracle. For us to find him in the condition he was is just amazing. Well, Luke is now recovering in hospital. We're told that he is in a stable condition and police there in Australia are describing him as one strong, courageous and determined young man. George? Boy, I'll say what an incredible story. Thank you, Hamish.